Mr. Barsini. Sir? I'm ready to try again if you are. Seems to be a time for the closing of painful relationships. Even ours, Lieutenant. A misbegotten pair. The betrayed artist, the uninvited policeman. Well, Mr. Barsini, all this, I'm speaking just for myself, has been a very brief privilege. Your portrait completed. I'll no longer be available to you. Not even to discuss my wife's nightmares. There's only one more, sir. Who knows what this one will bring? This dream. I really don't want to talk about it. My hands are still shaking. It begins again with the knocking at the door. And this time it's I who's knocking. The door is locked, I can't get in. But suddenly, the door is open. I also know that something frightening is about to happen. Still, I have to go up the stairs. I find Max at the kitchen table, holding a man's pocket watch over a cup of tea. He seems to laugh at me as he says, there's something wrong with the works. Then he drops the watch into the tea. But when he turns the cup over, there's nothing there. Then I realize it will all end very badly. He seems to be trying to comfort me as he tells me he knows what happened to the watch. But when he opens the door to the stairs, they lead down into a dark basement.